was uh, Dharmapala. Now we'll do the Soka practice, a brief offering to the Dharma protectors on page one. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. I appear as the Yidam deity from the seed syllable at my heart, emanate Ram, Yam, and Kam. Fire, wind, and water burn, scatter, and wash away the faults and defects of the Torma. Above wind and fire is a hearth of skulls. Above that is a vast and spacious skull filled with the five meats and five nectars. The five meats are marked with Om, Hum, Tam, Hri, and Ah, and the five nectars with Mam, Lam, Bam, Pam, and Tam. A wind of Hum emerges from the nostrils, blowing, stirring, and lighting the fire, which melts and boils the substances. The defects bubble over, and the pure essence fills the skull to the brim, Above a moon disk lid, Hum, Ah, and Om are stacked one above the other. Light radiates from these and gathered nectar, which merges with the syllables. The three syllables and moon disk melt into light and dissolve into the nectar. Thus it transforms into an ocean of wisdom nectar. <laughs> Light radiates from the seed syllable at my heart, inviting the Lama, Yidam, and Dakinis, the protectors and the guardians of the Dharma, wealth gods, guardians of the directions, local spirits, obstructing spirits, karmic creditors, and the six classes of beings who then gather before me like billowing clouds.
According to their ranking order, these guests partake of the Torma with light tubes emerging from their Vajra tongues and thus are pleased and satisfied. consider me ho please consider me ho please consider me glorious vajra guardian great black one and haruka glorious great parava by nature you are one within dharmata in essence you are the same within primordial wisdom and in character you are equal in unhindered activity hero who defeats all unfavorable circumstances you are the foremost lord of all appearance and existence and of all gods and demons wrathful local guardian, great leader of activity oppressors, invincible sovereign of radiant splendor, you protect awareness-holding yogins as if they were your own children, 
and you assess the absorption of oath-bound practitioners, you are endowed with the radiance of peace, the splendor of increasing, and the power of magnetizing activity. You are swift in activities of liberating savage foes and hindrances. Your mighty skill in protecting the teachings is sublime. Powerful Lord, with the name, the one endowed with the mighty Vajra Rath, great warrior God of Yogans, please heed me. Please dwell in this holy shrine of enlightened body, speech, and mind of myself, the yogin called Vajra Haruka. Please act to conquer the dread of the four Maras and all obstacles along my path of supreme bliss, whereby I will accomplish unsurpassed awakening. Please cause me to encounter the Samadhi companion that will guide me on the authentic path. Until I attain awakening, help me to never deviate onto mistaken paths with body, speech, and mind, and cause my mind to turn toward freedom and awakening. May all unfavorable circumstances in this world be vanquished. May perfect auspiciousness and goodness pervade and increase. May God's spirits and humans be brought under control, and at all times and in every circumstance, may enlightened activities be accomplished according to my supplications. As you are the glory and protector of all wandering beings, please perform activities to grant supreme and common cities without obstruction and effortlessly. May I vanquish all unfavorable circumstances, the enemies and hindrances with wrong views and the like, and may perfect auspiciousness and goodness pervade and prevail. Ma Hri, by the power of your compassion and previous aspirations, Mother Achi Choki Droma arise from the Dharma sphere and look upon me from the space of primordial wisdom. Miraculously descend upon this activity mandala. Mother Achi, Lady of Nanam, powerful Dharma Tara, Wisdom Tara, Samaya Tara, magnetizing goddess, flesh eating Karma Dakini, noble lady Tashi Saringma, Mayu Lopsangma, Tekar Droksama, Tingi Shel Sangma, and Chopin Tringsangma. Protectors of the lineage, forefathers, protectors of frightful hermitages, protectors with Samaya who pledge to protect the teachings of the Kagyu lineage, your luminous wisdom never fades, your compassion never withholds, and your blessings are never far, and your power is unobstructed. All of you bless us, yogins, in our retinues through your enlightened body. Bless us through your enlightened speech. Bless us through your enlightened mind. Bless us through your enlightened qualities. Bless us through your enlightened activities. Act so as to conquer adverse circumstances and the dread of the four Maras. Please cause me to encounter the Samadhi companion that will guide me on the true path. Thus, until I attain awakening, help me to never deviate onto mistaken paths with body, speech, and mind, but cause my mind to turn toward freedom and awakening. May all unfavorable circumstances in this world be vanquished. May perfect auspiciousness and goodness pervade and increase. May God's spirits and humans be brought under control, and at all times and in every circumstance may enlightened activities be accomplished according to my supplications. As the glory and protector of all wandering beings, please perform activities to grant supreme and common cities without obstruction and effortlessly. May I vanquish all unfavorable circumstances, the enemies and hindrances with wrong views and the like, and may perfect auspiciousness and goodness pervade and prevail. Jaya Jaya City City Pala Pala Jangan bawa dengan jangan, abu tunda jangan bermain. 
ตาหาระมิงซึงจัดชีนําตือจําลาเรงาเลจิ่งนอจุมาหิงจงยายุซาตุราหาจันจิกงานุจิยาเลปะตางจิ่งทางลาซังบาเกมิเกตติงกุน
Next we'll do Zambala, Summoning Good Fortune in the Rainfall of Benefit and Happiness text on page 63. Sorrows unknown. Amitayas grant long life. Free God, me kind heartedly in Potala, pure land of perfect compassion. Ye men, five poisons, names don't exist. Chen Rezik, hold me with love. Grant me the supreme seed. He in lotus light, pure land of Vidya Dara's deathless life. Even misery's names are God, lotus born, grant your blessing, sky faring rainbow body. In manifest joy land of perfect bliss, even the names for confused hate don't exist. Vajra Sattva grand blessings, mirror like wisdom, sit he in glory in doubt land of perfect splendor, even. Names for confused pride don't exist. Ratna Sambhava bestow. Equanimity wisdom in the watch and pure land. Of great happiness even names for confused desire are Gone, Amitabha, bless and grant discerning wisdom, said he. In fulfilled activity, land of perfect Buddha deeds, there's no words for jealousy. Moga said he be stow all accomplishing wisdom in the augment atmosphere, endowed with five perfect shams, ignorance does not exist. Vairochana grant armam, Tatu wisdom said he. Grand vital essence is of the five great mothers and long life. In them native hood, ya, na, so gyal dwells with na, knees, grand bliss, emptiness, mastery. Fortune of profound man. Raghuru, who's off in Amna, where all in your jidams dwell. Grant awakening in one life, fortune of Mahamudra, in the sphere of self display. Dwell ye dams of peace and Rat grand supreme and common power, sit he fulfilling all aims. In twenty-four sacred sites, gather infinite sky dancers, grand ripening liberating. 
powers, fortune of secret man, Thraha in Dharmakaya has expands, dwell the lineage, lords and kin, grant enlightened action, increase to stage his mantra, deity, in all taming tulkus fear. Dwell Mahakala and Kohan grants of Jugati Hing Sid He fortune of enlightened acts. Om Hri in Vaishravanaza. Bo dwells the wealth of Zahambala, who acts kindly for all beings. Master of life, merit, wealth, food, and fortune with your court. Don't waver from your heart pledge. Think of us compassionately. Bring here all long life fortune. Here fortune of cattle. Fortune of swift horses. And wealth of wish granting livestock, the fortune of fertile sheep, and of herd animals, fortune of goats and those best cattle, wealth of wish granting cows, bulls, mules to carry heavy. Lord, all this good fortune bring here, fortune of fine lovely silk, highly priced gold and silver, fertile soil and the six grains, precious gems and ornaments, food and drink of every Kind, bring them here as good fortune, Brahma's fortune from above. God's go spirits, wealth, mid way, Nagas wishing gem below. Three worlds, gods, and humans, wealth. Bring them here as good for Chulu Pag pose body for Chun Tumbling's holy dharma. Balang chose for Chunat. Well, Dramanian's longevity, being's life, strength, and merit. Of all lands grant therefore. Chun Indian kings, religious might, Chinese kings are reaching force, Persian kings fortune and well the army of King Gesa, the courage of Ugarhor, as good fortune bring them. The fortune of the endless sky, fortune of the stable grounds, perfect wealth, food, and clothing, radiant splendor, riches, strength, armor, weapons, miracle powers, monks who uphold the script. Chores, fortune of brave and strong boys, beautiful and virtuous girls, pure offspring, please all of these. Bring them here as good fortune, like sun and moon's eastern rise, eastern long life fortune. Come like the swirling southern clouds, southern long life fortune. Come like in shrouding mist, western long life fortune. Please come here like a river flows northern. Long life fortune, please come. Here, like rain falling from above, up along thy fortune come, like six grains ripening be, 
Come like turquoise dragons, roar fortune of hearts to in slime. Come like dazzling star garlands, whom Hri Eastern Vajradaki Nihi bring life's fortune pacify disease demons hindrances, southern jewel darky. He bring resources, food and wealth, expand life, merit, riches. Western lotus dog, he needs someone power to tame all things, sansara and nirvana. Northern action dog, he he bring the four enlightened acts, annihilate Hindra's evil. Wealth gods with your red new bring here all the world's fortune. Bring our species objects here. Bring fortune at objects. Here always remain at this place and make these fortunes steadfast. Potent eyes, life substance, is and at this place protect wealth. Please remain firm unchanging. Grant eternal life, Sid. He grant endless treasure, Sid. He grant wealth and merit, Sid. He grant to Sid he's let them be accomplished spontaneously. Sarva Sid he Allah. Ahom, three Kayas, Lama, deities of longevity, Dakinis of Uddiyana, and assembly of wealth gods, please bestow the four empowerments upon me and other fortunate disciples. Being bestowed with the supreme form empowerment upon my body, may I attain the indestructible Vajra body. Being bestowed with the supreme speech empowerment upon my speech, may I attain the power of Brahma's sixty melodies. Being bestowed with the supreme mind empowerment upon my mind, May I attain power over the unborn simplicity. May I attain the essence kaya empowerment, the ultimate empowerment that is the spontaneous presence of the three kayas. May I obtain the empowerment of the Guru's three kayas, which causes the three poisons to manifest as the three kayas. May I attain the empowerment of the long life deities of the five families, which causes the five poisons to manifest as the five aspects of primordial wisdom. May I attain the empowerment of the Dakinis of Uddiyana, by which the body of deathless primordial wisdom is attained. May I attain the empowerment of White Sambhala Yabhyam, which effortlessly and spontaneously accomplishes ordinary and sublime cities. May I attain the empowerment of wealth gods and treasure lords, which perfects the abundance of food, wealth, and riches. May I attain the empowerment of Mahamudra, which liberates from samsara's pain. May I attain the empowerment of self-knowing Dharmakaya, which is the primordial purity of the delusional perceptions of unawareness. May I attain the empowerment of the great completion, which is the primordial purity of all phenomena of samsara and nirvana. May I attain the empowerment of the great middle way, which naturally liberates the four extremes of eternalism and nihilism. May I attain the empowerment of the perfection of wisdom, which is inexpressible being beyond words and thoughts. May I attain the empowerment of total openness, free from fixation, which naturally liberates dualistic propensities. May I attain the empowerment of immortal life, which is the unchanging expanse of awareness. May I attain the empowerment of awakening within one lifetime, which is the endless accumulation of merit. 
the three kayas, deities of longevity, dakinis of Uddiyana, and assembly of wealth gods, my own body, speech, and mind, this life, all solid and substantial matter, all these dissolve like clouds dissolving in the sky or water pouring into water, without reference point into the all-pervasive open space of awe, within a state of non-distraction rest at ease, in the unborn basic space of phenomenon, let go of everything. In a state of simplicity, remain free and open. Seal with steadfastness. Samaya, seal, seal, seal. Om Hri, by this virtue of timelessness beyond the three times, may all beings be relieved from the suffering of poverty, hunger, and thirst, and may all wishes and enjoyments be fulfilled. At last, may they swiftly attain the most excellent state of the Master Padmasambhava and Amitabha in the Buddha field, great bliss, and reach the ground of no return. World Peace Prayer on page 98. To the unfailing sources of refuge, the three jewels and three roots, and especially Chen Rezeg, the protector of the land of snows, to noble Tara and Guru Padmasambhava, I pray. Please remember your sacred pledge of former times. Please grant blessings that this aspiration be entirely fulfilled. In this dark age of decline, the thoughts and actions of beings are corrupted, and the balance of the outer and inner elements is lost. Through these causes and conditions, humans and animals alike are seized by epidemics and diseases unknown in the past. They are struck by planetary demons, nagas, evil spirits, dark forces, and elemental spirits. Crops are damaged by blight, frost, and hail, and there is fighting and dispute. Untimely rains, heat waves, and droughts in the world, fear of earthquakes, fire, adversaries, and natural catastrophes, and in particular evil hordes that hurt the teachings and so forth, cause harm and violence throughout the world. May these be swiftly pacified and vanquished from their very roots in the minds of all beings, human and non-human. May precious and supreme bodhicitta arise naturally, and free of harmful thoughts and actions, may the minds of all be filled with love for one another. May the entire world enjoy abundant happiness and wealth. May the Buddha's teachings spread far and endure long by the truthful power of the three roots, the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, by whatever virtuous roots there are in samsara and nirvana, and by the power of our highest pure intention, may this aspiration be fulfilled. Amitabha Sadhana, page 20. Back to the Amitabha Sadhana on page 20. <laughs> Home, 
transcendent <clears throat> conqueror, protector, Buddha Amitabha, and noble assembly of loving bodhisattvas compassionately look upon <laughs> us afflicted beings and guide us to the pure land of Sukhavati. In accord with your past bodhicitta vows, not wavering from the sacred bond, deity with great compassion, please exhaust all negative karma and empty samsara from its depths. At this very moment, please act as our guide. As I, with intense devotion, have thus invoked the enlightened mind, red light rays of compassion radiate from the heart of Amitabha and dissolve into the hearts of myself and all beings. Self-grasping misconceptions and delusion have collapsed in themselves. The state of selfless dharmakaya is realized, and I rest in the nature of clarity and emptiness, free from grasping and elaboration. By all the limitless and sacred merit obtained through this meditation and recitation, may all beings drowning in the river of suffering attain the supreme state of Amitabha. Hom <coughs> all pervasive Dharmakaya protector Amitabha, Sambhogakayas, the loving assembly of Bodhisattvas, and Nirmanakayas, the gathering of Shravakas and Arhats. Together with your retinues, please endow all beings with the auspiciousness to progress to Sukhavati. Today we'll do the dedication prayer in the blue prayer book of the uh, King of Aspiration, which is on page 52. Homage to the ever youthful Manjushri, with purity of body, speech, and mind, I bow to all the heroic Buddhas of the past, present, and future, without exception, in every world, in all the ten directions. By the power of this aspiration of Samantabhadra, I bow with as many bodies as there are atoms in the world to all those victorious <coughs> Buddhas manifest in my mind, and I pay homage to all of them. I conceive the entire realm of truth to be completely filled with enlightened ones. On each atom I imagine there to be as many Buddhas as atoms in the world, each Buddha surrounded by many bodhisattvas. I honor all these blissful lords, praising their perfections with all the sounds of various melodies, an ocean of endless praise. I offer to those heroic Buddhas the finest flowers, garlands, music, and ointments, excellent canopies, choice lamps, and the best incense. I offer as well to those victorious ones the finest array of all excellent things, the finest robes and fragrances, and heaps of sweet-smelling powders as high as Mount Meru. By the power of my faith in the deeds of Samantabhadra, I prostrate and present vast and unequaled offerings to each of the victorious Buddhas. 
I confess every type of wrong that I have done in thought, word, or deed while influenced by desire, anger, and ignorance. I rejoice in the meritorious deeds of all the Buddhas, as well as those performed by the Bodhisattvas, Praktya Buddhas, Arhats, and those who are in the path of training, those who need no more training, and by all sentient beings in the Ten Directions. I entreat the enlightened protectors who have attained the detachment of Buddhahood and illuminate the world so that Ten Directions to turn the peerless wheel of Dharma. With folded hands, I beseech those who intend to manifest the final nirvana to remain for as many eons as there are atoms in all the worlds for the benefit and happiness of all living beings. May whatever small amount of virtue I may have gained from prostrating, offering, confessing, rejoicing, and beseeching be dedicated to attainment of perfect enlightenment. May I worship the Buddhas of the past and those now present in the worlds of the Ten Directions. May those to come quickly fulfill their aspiration and reach Buddhahood by traversing the stages of enlightenment swiftly. May all the worlds of the Ten Directions become extensively and completely pure. May it be filled with bodhisattvas and victorious Buddhas who proceed to the royal tree of enlightenment. May all living beings in the Ten Directions always be happy and free of sickness. May they be endowed with favorable circumstances for achieving dharmic goals, and may their wishes be accomplished. May I remember my lives in all states of existence while in the training for enlightenment. In all my successive births and deaths, may I always embrace religious life. May I follow all the victorious Buddhas and perfect all the deeds of Samantabhadra. Pure in the morality without defect, may my conduct always be flawless. May I teach the Dharma in every tongue, in whatever sounds are understood by living beings, in the languages of the gods, <clears throat> nagas, demons, spirits, and human beings. May I steadfastly apply myself to the six perfections. May I never disregard my intention to attain enlightenment and completely remove whatever faults may obscure my path. May I be free from karma, emotional afflictions, and the influence of demons, like the lotus unsoiled by the mire, or like the sun and the moon in the clear sky, so that I may proceed unhindered. Throughout all the lands in all the directions, may I relieve the sufferings of the lower realms. May I be able to bring happiness to and provide benefit for all living beings. Fully accomplishing the activities of enlightenment, may I work in harmony with the needs of all beings. May I practice and demonstrate the deeds of Samantabhadra through all future eons. May I always associate with those whose activities are similar to mine. May we act alike in thought, word, and deed, and may our aspirations be as one. May I always associate with spiritual friends who wish to help me and teach the deeds of Samantabhadra. May I never cause them pain or disappointment. May I always personally behold the victorious Buddhas, whose guardians surrounded by bodhisattvas without tiring in all future eons. May I always present them magnificent offerings. May I always uphold the Buddha's holy dharma and illuminate the deeds of enlightenment. May I train in the practice of Samantabhadra in all future eons. Through rebirth in all the states of existence, may I gather an endless store of merit and wisdom May I become an inexhaustible treasure of all virtues of method, wisdom, concentration, and liberation. May I always behold as many pure lands as there are atoms present in each world, with inconceivable Buddhas sitting in the midst of their bodhisattvas and performing the activities of enlightenment. In this way, may I be able to see everywhere, even on every mote of dust, countless Buddhas of the past, present, and future, limitless pure lands, and endless eons. May I always heed the pure speech of the victorious Buddhas, which holds within each word the totality of the perfect Dharma, an ocean of languages precisely suited to the needs of each being. May I possess the perfect intelligence to heed the endless melody of speech when the victorious Buddhas of the past, present, and future turn the wheels of Dharma. May I accomplish the Bodhisattva's practice of entering the past, present, and future in a fraction of a second. May I know in a single instant all that is encompassed in the duration of the three times. May I behold all the heroic Buddhas of the past, present, and future in a single instant. May I always perform their activities through the power of liberation from <clears throat> illusion. May I perceive upon a single atom the perfect design of the pure realms of the past, present, and future. Thus may I enter into the realms of the victorious Buddhas in all directions. When the illuminators of the worlds of the future realize the stages of Buddhahood, turn the wheel and enter the profound peace of nirvana. May I always be in their presence. 
May I accomplish the perfect powers of enlightenment, the power of miraculous swiftness, the power of perfection of every spiritual path, the power of all virtuous qualities, the power of all pervasive loving kindness, the power of merit of every virtue, the power of all transcendent wisdom, and the powers of perfect knowledge, method, and meditation. May the forces of karma be utterly purified, the power of passions utterly subdued, the power of demons utterly destroyed, and the power of the deeds of Samantabhadra perfected. May I tirelessly perform the enlightened activities for an ocean of eons, purifying an ocean of lands, liberating an ocean of beings, realizing an ocean of dharma, attaining an ocean of wisdom, perfecting an ocean of practice, accomplishing an ocean of aspirations, ceaselessly serving an ocean of Buddhas. May I completely fulfill all perfect aspirations to the enlightened activities of the victorious Buddhas of the three times by attaining enlightenment according to the deeds of Samantabhadra. The eldest son of the victorious Buddhas is called Samantabhadra. I dedicate all these virtuous activities that my deeds may be like his. May my body, speech, and mind, deeds, and environment always be pure. May I become equal to Samantabhadra in these excellent aspirations. May there be no limit to my activities. May there be no limit to my virtues. Through limitless perseverance, may I accomplish all miraculous deeds. The limit of living beings is like the limit of open space. May the limit of my aspirations be equal to the limit of their activities and passions. Whoever offers to the victorious Buddhas all the perfect joys of gods and men and the infinite realms of the ten directions adorned with jewels, for as many eons as there are atoms in those realms, shall gain great merit. But whoever hears this greatest dedication prayer and is inspired by faith to intensely desire supreme enlightenment shall gain even higher and holier merit. Whoever recites the aspiration of Samantabhadra will never again endure hellish rebirth, will abandon all evil friends, and will soon behold Amitabha, the Buddha of boundless light. They will gain all benefits, live in happiness, attain precious human rebirth, and soon become like Samantabhadra himself. Even those who in ignorance committed the five unredeemable sins will soon be completely purified by reciting this aspiration of Samantabhadra. They will achieve perfect wisdom, a radiant countenance, beautiful form, auspicious physical marks, and a noble birth. Profane and devilish being will not trouble them, and they will be honored in the three realms. They will quickly reach the tree of enlightenment and reside there to benefit all beings. As enlightened Buddhas, they will turn the wheel of Dharma, taming the demonic hosts. Whoever preserves, teaches, or recites this aspiration of Samantabhadra shall ultimately attain perfect Buddhahood. May none despair of complete enlightenment. In whatever way valiant Manjushri and Samantabhadra know how to transfer merit, so do I dedicate all my own virtues that I might train to be like them. Since dedication is praised as supreme by the victorious Buddhas of the three times, I dedicate all these roots of virtue to accomplishing the deeds of Samantabhadra. At the moment of my death, may all my obscurations be removed, that I may behold Amitabha, the Buddha of boundless light, and go to Sukhavati, the pure land of perfect bliss. In that blissful land, may I completely fulfill all these aspirations and benefit all beings as long as the universe remains. Joyful there in that blessed assembly of the Buddha, may I be reborn like the holy ones from an exquisite lotus, and may the, the Buddha Amitabha himself foretell my own enlightenment. May I thereafter emanate endlessly through the power of perfect wisdom to accomplish countless benefits for living beings in all the ten directions. Through whatever small virtues I have gathered by reciting this aspiration of Samantabhadra, may all the virtuous aspirations of living beings be accomplished in a single moment. Through the boundless merit gained by dedicating these aspirations of Samantabhadra, May the countless beings drowning in the torrent of suffering reach the stage of Amitabha. May this greatest of dedication prayers benefit countless living beings. May reciting this ornament of Samantabhadra release all beings from the suffering of the lower realms. Do we do the We'll do the long life prayers in the yellow prayer book on page 22. For this realm, encircled by snow-covered mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness. Tenzing Gyatso, Lord Shenrizig, may you remain steadfast until the end of samsara. 
embodiment of the three jewels, great being who upholds and teaches, increases the teachings of the Shakya Lion. Supreme are your activities of guiding others with your perfect deeds. May you, the precious Guru, who accomplishes everything spontaneously, live long. Holder of the teachings of the Lord Rigumpa, great Lord of the three jewels, through the power of your peerless compassion and the holy Dharma's peace and light, you bring relief to beings. May your life be long. The one known in the noble land as Arya Deva emanated into the Gar clan of eastern Tibet as Chodingpa, the heart son of Jingdingumpo. May the life of the glorious Garchan remain steadfast for a hundred eons. Page 28. May the teachings of the great Drigumpa Ratnas Sri, master of interdependence, omniscient lord of Dharma, who has seen all knowable things, be upheld until the end of psychic existence through study, practice, hearing, contemplation, and meditation. Your thousand arms are the thousand wheel-turning kings. Your thousand eyes are the thousand Buddhas of this fortunate eon. Your love is boundless like space. I supplicate to the Bodhisattva Chen Rezig. I'm a participating in our annual Amitabha Accumulation Retreat. I am happy to report that a total of 1,243,502 mantras have been accumulated by the Worldwide Sangha. So we rejoice in in everybody's uh, merit, and we will leave the mantra counter on the website uh, for people to submit their mantras until tomorrow morning. Arizona time. So I want to thank Kempo Tenzin for making the beautiful Tormas for this retreat. And thank you, Lama Bunima, for uh, leading us in the practice. And thank you to Abu Lama. And thank you to Grace for Chopening. And thank you, everyone, for joining online. And uh, thank you to all the staff for making the retreat possible and all our volunteers. Everyone be well. Take care. Long life. Oh.